Hello friends. Today I am going to discuss about the drive test related parameter or you can say the coverage related parameters. So these are the very very basic parameters for the LTE or OLTE and it is important for each and every engineers to understand about the KPI and all. So let us understand each and everything about the parameters related to RSSI, RSRP, RSRQ, SINR, CQI, PCI and BLER. In this video, I will discuss about these parameters in detail and I will tell you the range of all parameters and what are the best value and what are the worst value against each of the parameters. Another parameter is RSRP. RSRP stands for the reference signal receive power. Is the average power of resource element that carry cell specific reference signal over the entire bandwidth. So RSRP is only measured in the symbol carrying reference signal. It reporting range is minus 44 dBm to minus 140 dBm or you can say it is measured in dBm. Its formula is RSRP is equal to RSSI minus 10 log 12 into N where n is the number of radio bearer as per channel bandwidth. Channel bandwidth means if it is 1.4 MHz bandwidth, radio bearer will be 6. If it is 20 MHz bandwidth, radio bearer will be 100 like that. So RSRP range is like if it is greater than or equal to minus 80 dBm, it is excellent signal. Minus 80 to minus 90 dBm, it is good. Minus 90 to minus 100, fair to poor. And if it is less than or equal to minus 100 dBm, then you can say very very poor are the no signal for RSRP. This is the RSRP plot after the drive test. So here you can see if you will be the closer to the site, this is good RSRP level. And if you are the far away from the site location, there will be you receive poor RSRP coverage. Like here you can say this is green color belongs to the good RSRP greater than or equal to minus 80. So you are good and you can see this location it is RSRP is the very poor. So this way you can understand the RSRP. Next parameter is the RSRQ. RSRQ which is stand for the reference signal receipt quality. So this is the quality. RSRP was the signal level and RSRQ is the signal quality. It is provide the signal quality indication. The reporting range of RSRQ is defined from minus 3 to minus 19.5 dB. It considered in dB. Its formula is RSRQ is equal to N into RSRP divided by RSSI. N is again the number of physical resource block over which the RSI is measured. So let us understand the RSRQ range. So if it is greater than or equal to minus 10 dB, it is excellent minus 10 dB to minus 15 dB it is good minus 15 dB to minus 20 dB it is fair to poor and if it is less than or equal to minus 20 dB it means very very poor are the no signal so here th these are the places where red marks are coming red marks means below minus 20 so if we are the below minus 20 it means it is the very poor RSRQ and like this place green mark green mark it denote the good RSRQ. You can say where you observe the interference at that place RSRQ will be poor because it is the quality. Next parameter is the SINR. SINR stands for signal to interference noise ratio. It measure in dB and it ranges 0 to 30 dB. SINR is calculated at S divided by I plus N where S is the average received signal power I is the interference power and N is the noise. It value is if it is greater than 20 or equal to 20 then you can say excellent signal strength. And if it is vary between 13 dB to 20 dB it is good and if 0 to 13 dB it is fair to poor means it is poor. This is the SINR plot. Here SINR plot where the interference will be high again. SINR will be very poor. Red mark belongs to the poor SINR. Green mark and blue mark, these marks, see here, green and blue. These belongs to the good SINR. 
so where interference will be very high their sinr will be poor next parameter is cqi cqi means channel quality indicator it range is 1 to 15 cqi is measurement of the communication quality of wireless channel that is indicate the downlink mobile radio channel quality as experienced by the uv so cqi can be value representing a measure of channel quality for a given channel typically a high value cqi indicate of channel with high quality and vice versa so if cqi will be very good means channel quality indication will be very good then it will receive good amount of the data or you can say throughput will be very good and if cqi will be the poor throughput will also be degraded next parameter is the pci pci is the physical cell id it range is 0 to 503 so pci is used to identify the cell and it is used to transmit the data pci is the combination of the pss and sss pss means primary synchronization signal and sss means secondary synchronization signal so pci formula is equal to pss plus 3 into sss where pss value will be 0 1 or 2 and sss value will be 0 to 167 next parameter is the BLER BLER means block error rate block error rate is defined as the ratio of number of erroneous block received to the total number of block transmitted a simple method by which a UV can choose an appropriate CQI value could be based on a set of block error rate threshold you can understand if block error rate will be high then cqi value will also be impacted so bler always should be less than or equal to 10 percent if it is greater than 10 percent it means there is huge errors are coming so it will impact your uh, cqi and cqi will impact the data throughput so these are the basic parameters for the drive test related so these are the things for the today i will come up again for the some new things of any other parameters and uh, any other kpis so please wait for that and please subscribe my channel so that you can find the upcoming video thank you very much